Now this is content. Oh, that's a juicy idea. Uh, Spymaster is no longer Spymaster. He fucking resigned. <laughs> He's tired of trying to kill the King of Norway. So instead, we'll send the Princess of Norway to be Spymaster. Oh my god, it's so fucking juicy. <laughs> Those Norwegians are in so much trouble. God, I tire of having to complete the same tasks over and over again. Well, that's too bad. Sorry, you were trapped in Crusader Kings 2, 3. You're going to be trapped in this cycle until the end of your days. You can rest in bloody heaven. I'm tired of every day the King of Norway is enemy attacks saying, Excuse me, couldn't help but notice that my wife was hanging over my bed on the back of a huge spiked ball and chain, screaming about how the island will rule all Norway. <laughs> was that anything to do with you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think he believes me. You have to put the phone down before you say the revealing thing, okay? I know you're new to Crusader Kings 2 or 3. I'll give you a few tips on the old plotting. Thanks. Thanks, man. I don't get this. I've got a... I've got a reason. It says I can righteously imprison that little fucker. <laughs> the traitor from the other timeline. But it doesn't say why. <laughs> did he do something? What did he do? Everyone's just coming in like, let's imprison that guy. <laughs> You know that guy you ate from the other side of the island? Let's fucking just throw him in prison. It's fine. I'm not going to judge you for it. Just do it. Oh, there we go. He, he's trying to fabricate the claim to my side of the island. So that's why he was taking so long to fabricate the claim on his side. This is all a very complex game. He's making fake paperwork saying that I own his territory. And more fake paperwork saying he owns my territory. He's going for the old swap -a -roo. I see you sink first. Uh, so can we imprison him? Yeah, no? Well, actually can't. I don't get it. I have a 36% chance to put him in prison. <laughs> oh, jailers aren't very good at this, are they? All these handcuffs go on. All right, you stand over there, stand at 10 paces, I'm going to throw the handcuffs at you. <laughs> and if they go on your hands, you have to come with us. I have a pretty good shot of you. I hit about one in three, so... <laughs> oh, you better hope you're lucky today, son. Uh, uh, can, I, can, can you not? <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> no. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind not trying to steal my territory? Um, that's a no from me. I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't stop trying to steal. I. I there's just no reason not to steal your territory. That appears to be the case. So I can't even ask him to stop because he's so reluctant. No, I am going to steal your territory. He fucking works for me. He's the chancellor of my kingdom. This is just merciless. He is absolutely savage. He's not backing down. Um, excuse me, I refuse to stop plotting to overthrow you. Oh, but I will get that report on your desk by nine, my liege. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, hello. The wife has decided to go and be a nun for a bit. Well, now, well, now, you do that, darling. I'll be here with beautiful what's her face. Good, good dread. I want to get rid of you, darling. <laughs> oh, it's just a figure of speech, don't worry. So it's a perfect occasion to spend time. Oh, I, I might lose piety. Only 10. I've got quite a lot. I've got 72. I, I can afford a, a quite a lot of adultery. I, I can be discreet about it. Oh, but then I might be considered deceitful if I'm discreet about it. It's not deceitful. As long as you're open about it, then it's fine. It's a little bit, you know, God's a little bit angry with you, but... Uh, uh. I can ask her to just be friends, but that might be considered craven. Your character is a coward. It's too cowardly to just be friends. You don't have the balls to have an affair. God hates you now. <laughs> okay, I, don't, I could spend the time working. Oh, I see. So we can we can break up with Gertrude. Who even is Gertrude? She did give me one of my children, but, uh, <laughs> but you're you're out. You're out. I can't risk my piety. I need God to like me. Oh, does that make you more lucky or something? What does it do? I don't know. It doesn't really say what it does. <laughs> it's going down because I'm lustful, but otherwise it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully, in some way, it makes the Pope like me, like all the other Catholic countries won't be on me like a carbon we. Speaking of other Catholic countries, how's the killing of the Catholic monarch coming along? Have you done it yet? Oh, someone's left the pot. It's getting less and less likely. What's this? I've got a message about vassalization. Oh, he wants to be my. Va he wants me to be his vassal. Oh, uh, maybe I should say yes because if I say no, he'll just come and kill me. Here's what we're going to do. First, we'll say yes. I'll certainly 
be your vassal. Oh, the people of the island will loyally serve you. <laughs> serve you a poisoned platter! I mean, serve you until the end of your days. <laughs> Which might be sooner than you think. Stop it! Stop it! Okay, I'm, I'm trying to play it cool. Well, that was a very weird acceptance of your vassalship, but uh, welcome, welcome aboard. So there we go, I'm now a vassal of Norway. Nothing appears to have happened, so that's good. I guess if they go to war with Sweden... Oh, and now this is Norway. It's not the island anymore. Well, I'm still here. I've still got the same amount of territory, so nothing bad happened there. But uh, that's a shame that it's not called the island. Oh, look at this. It's called Coast of Iceland. Where's Iceland? Never heard of it. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> comedy, 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 comedy. I, I think everyone's decided they quite like Olaf. No one wants him dead, I and mean, he quite likes me as well now. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you know what, Olaf? <laughs> it's your lucky day. As a sign of good faith <laughs> for my new liege, I'm going to have a quick chat with your wife <laughs> about not murdering you. Oh, well, my other vassals didn't go that far. <laughs> Surely you are a loyal man. How do we not kill him? Choose a plot? No, let's just kill him even more. <laughs> Must be a way to st Oh, I think it's in here. In here. End. Cancel the plot. Cancel it! Cool off the plot. You've lost a plot, mate. There we go. So he will live. Spymaster. Spymaster, I need you to come back over here a second. Can you come back over here? No. So there we have it. We're now part of Norway. Hopefully that will keep us safe. Now, back to trying to kill this guy. We've gotten rid of most of his hair. That's a good start. Just on one side. This is pretty fucking stylish. <laughs> It's got a sort of half balding thing going. So it's really sort of lavish hair on one side and nothing on the other. I quite like it, you disgusting skeleton man. He really, he really likes me. He's liking me more and more. But but he's also plotting to steal my territory right here. He wants to fabricate the claim on the Duchy of Ireland. To the thrifty scholar, <laughs> Tata. Is that my reputation? They call me the thrifty scholar. <laughs> I'm cheap as fuck, and I know it. Peace be with you. We would like to appoint you to steward. I'm getting a fucking promotion. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm not a steward of Norway. We're working our way up the goddamn ranks. So I'm this thing, but for the king of Norway. And I've got my own one of these, just adding to the, the confusion. So that's pretty good. Can I work from home? <laughs> um, uh, excuse me, my lord. I want to work from home. I'm trying to scheme to kill this guy. <laughs> This guy's just so stubborn. <laughs> it's incredible. Now he doesn't like me because I imprisoned him. But we both knew that I knew about the plot. It was in the open. It was an open plot. I could go to his fucking house and say, Do you want to stop plotting, mate? No, man, I'll just keep plotting. All right, then. Might have to throw you in jail because it's actually illegal to plot. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. I'm not going to stop. So, you know, whatever happens. Well, all right, then. Yeah. You're going off to jail, then. What? What are you fucking talking about, mate? You can't just send me off to jail. Well, I did say. No, you didn't say. <laughs> Well, this is an outrage! <laughs> I hate you! I think I didn't have to go through this whole scheme all along. I could have just done this from the very beginning. I can just tell him he doesn't have the right to rule that territory. It makes him hate me, but he's in prison now, so he's probably not going to assassinate me. So we'll just send that off. There we go, so we sent that off. Yeah, and that makes this area mine! Let's fucking fortify it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally something happened! I did the thing! The thing that I tried to do is finally complete. Eh? The island is now mine. Oh wait, it's it's that other guy. <laughs> I signed it off. Well, that's pretty successful. Ah, another promotion. Hey, you're going to appoint me to commander because my wisdom and mercy are legendary. I will be your supreme commander. <laughs> Let's invade the island. No, no. I know of a particularly easy target to invade, my lord. There's an island out to sea. I'm trying to work out if I can somehow become king of Norway. I think we're like the nephew-in-law of the king because we're married to the princess who is... Magnus the Second's kid? We, are we married to this one? <laughs> What's my wife's name again? Hang on, <laughs> let me check. We're married to Ragnild, whose parents is Magnus the First and the King's Magnus the Second's. What? What? Okay, okay, okay. We can we could possibly do something here. We can do something here. I would like to betroth matrilineally to you, my kid, 
who's called I Killed King Olaf the Third. I named her a bit prematurely, you see. What I think I'm doing here is setting up... Oh, they don't, they don't want to. They don't want to. He's too high in the line of success. Oh, they really fucking don't want They really don't want to. Okay, I guess it doesn't work as easily as that. Well, my plan was to marry my daughter to their heir to the throne matrilineally and that would mean their kid would be in my family would also be the heir to their kingdom which could mean in two generations time the island would rule Norway. It was a little bit of scheming but they're like um <laughs> no. <laughs> Look how many fucking minuses there are. Can we marry it to someone else and then have everyone else in the line of succession killed? I guess that's the only other way to do it. Who else do you got? Svein? <laughs> You swine, you will marry my kid. Do it. Matrilineally. Yes, okay. So if we now kill the other guy, and then this guy inherits the kingdom, matrilineally makes another son who will be in my bloodline but inherits their titles, the island will rule. <laughs> I, does that, is that how it works? Better be how it works, because I'm just going to click here without thinking about it anymore. Okay, the betrothal set up. Oh, oh, Snoffred fancies me. <laughs> you want a little bit of the Snoffy? <laughs> oh, how can I resist? I can't. <laughs> My, I've already had several affairs. My wife suspects something. She's talking to God about it, and that's the bad sign. Uh, but anyway, let's just go make a move anyway. <clears throat> I need more children. <laughs> I'm just going to legitimize all my bastard children so I can marry them off. Okay, they think that's a good idea. Yes, yes, now, now, let's get to work. You little bastard, bald Magnus. He's only 16 and he's bald. That's a bad sign. He's probably going to die of his own accord, but let's try and kill him anyway. Most people, yeah, they, they, they wouldn't add too much plot power to the killing this guy thing, but we'll try anyway. Bloody Ingrid. <laughs> This is your kid! She really wanted to kill her husband and the kid. Well, okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it, matey. Uh, darling, darling. You know, you know how I said I'd let you kill someone. I've got someone new for you to kill. It's this beautiful young boy that I've met. Oh, she's amoral, that's why. She doesn't mind killing people. Oh, she's reluctant. Okay, okay, darling. Perhaps 15 gold coins would change your mind. Yes, it bloody fucking would. All right. Plot to kill your son. <laughs> Thank you. This is good. <laughs> Having this evil queen in Norway is helping my scheme quite a lot. I hope she doesn't kill me at some point during all of this, and then she takes over everything. Oh no! Oh no! She found out! Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I happen to be aware, glorious King Judah, that you're trying to kill my son. <laughs> Would you mind stopping? Oh, oh, sorry, I, 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 I clicked on the wrong thing, you see. <laughs> so you could just say no. No, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, sure, okay, I'll end the plot, end the plot, sorry. <clears throat> Damn it, <laughs> need to be more stealthy, buddy, next time. I managed to blame the monks at a nearby monastery for one of my more sensuous songs of courtly love. Smack that up on the floor! These hymns are getting real sultry, bloody monks. Oh, it is the end, it is the end for what's his face of that place. Please kill me! <laughs> kill me, I'm so hot! You can't stop me! He's had a good life, though, because he's stolen this other guy's shit. Am I go is, is, he, is he gonna be inherited by my son? Hala Titterson, is that my kid? <laughs> What's my kid's name? Yes, okay, good, good. And I've legitimized my bastard children, so I killed all of King Olaf the Three and Snoffy Toffy Whoopsie <laughs> should also have potential to keep the island under my control. We've got a stable next generation. The island will remain in the hands of the weird ass island family, whatever we're called, and soon all of Norway will be mine. I'll make my new kid's ambition shall be to become king of Norway. Maybe that will help with the scheming. Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>